The next two days is not about politics or about politicians. The next two days are about the people of South Africa. And the outcomes of the next two days of discussions need to be judged based on whether they provide concrete solutions to improve the lives of South African people. If they speak to one of the unemployed South Africans in South Africa, if they speak to the mother who's sitting around a kitchen table wondering how to feed her family, to the business owners and people who've lost their jobs because of load shedding. For that to be the case, this cannot and must not be a purely anti-ANC project. It has to be a pro-South Africa project. And tomorrow when this process is, this part of the process is complete, please judge the politicians sitting at this table today on whether the outcomes promise greater hope and tangible improvements for your life and for your future. Ask whether they're collectively providing solutions to things like crime, unemployment, load shedding. If the answer is yes, if these parties emerge with an agreement to not only defeat the ANC, but to rescue South Africa, then I ask that you judge it as a success. Because our country does not have a second to waste. The next election in South Africa will be a hinge of history moment for our country. So now it is time for leaders gathered here today to put aside differences of the past, to forget about the scars of battles gone, and focus firmly on the future. Many people thought that we would never even be able to get to this point, sitting around a table to find common solutions. Yet, here we are. But our biggest test now lies before us. Over the next two days, we will no doubt have honest and very robust discussions. But I know that they will be based on the passion we all share for this beautiful country and for all the people who call her home. The people gathered here at this front table represent a broad spectrum of the South African people. What we're doing here over the next two days will be for the people of South Africa, an agreement for the people of not only Durban, Mtata, Hammondskral, or Stilfontein, or Matuba Tuba and Cape Town, but for every town and city across our country. Judge the next two days on what the outcomes will be to the problems you face at home in your daily life. And I'll repeat what I've said before. This project cannot be owned by politicians. It must be owned by the people. NCS, all of us are aware, will lose its majority, and all South Africans know this. But they've never seen opposition parties putting aside differences to actually give them hope. Action SA commits ourselves to this national convention and we have revealed how over 91% of South Africans want this project to succeed. That said, Action SA will de deliver some tough messages to these parties over the next two days. We need to attract more parties to build a broad church that can achieve a majority in the next general elections. That there can be no ambiguity about the removal of the ANC. We must define this agreement in a positive vision for South Africa, not against other political parties.